Hey guys, what's up? Hazel or Aesthetic here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the features on my mod pack server that I've been working on. It's a custom server with vanilla style mods where you don't need to add anything to join the server except a resource pack and you've got everything that you need and the server has a bunch of custom features and I think it's really awesome. And yeah, I'm going to be going over a bunch of the features on the server today and I hope you guys enjoy it. It should be a good time. The first feature on the server is basically there's a harder way to access the nether. So if I was going to take a flint and steel, as you can see, only normal fire. There's no portal or anything. Now what ends up happening is you're going to need three obsidian, one stick, and an iron ingot. You put the stick right here, the iron right there, and you can make a pestle and mortar. Now, pestle and mortar can be used to grind up obsidian into obsidian dust. And it can also be, oh, and it also takes some durability out, as you can see. And you can also use it to turn bones into bone meal. This is the only way to get bone meal on the server. What you want to do is you want to take the coal and the gunpowder. And so you can take coal, gunpowder, and obsidian dust. You can make a fire charge, or three of them, technically. Now, with the three fire charges, you can activate the portal. So as you can see, it's a harder recipe for the portal. And it means you have to actually get obsidian before accessing the nether. Which means that uh, nether is actually locked behind diamonds. And you can't just like do the, like, the little exploit, you know? Where you can like put the lava buckets and water buckets. So yeah. Alright, so the next feature is another nether related one, and this is soul glass. So soul glass can be made by smelting soul sand, as you can see. And basically, let me just put this all in here for now. Soul glass is a nether alternative to glass. Since there's no stained glass on the server, I thought it would be a good idea to add some better glass colors, as you can see. It's just like regular glass, but it's like, you know, soul sand vibe, and it's good for making those, like, scary builds and stuff like that. Okay, so the next feature is new arrow type. So we have torch arrows and ender arrows. Now, torch arrows can be made with a torch and an arrow, of course. And to use a torch arrow, as you can see, all you have to do is shoot it. And basically, wherever you shoot it, a torch will be placed. Now, you can also place these torches on trees, on leaves, sorry. And that's not a thing you can do in vanilla. But yeah, they're really useful for making uh, ravines be lit and safe, and they're also useful for lighting mobs on fire. If I can find an animal, I will do so, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, look at that cow. Let's see if we can get him. This is going to be hard. Come on. Yeah, there we go. He's on fire. It's pretty short, though. And as well, we have ender arrows. And yeah, so an ender arrow. Let me just put these in our hotbar so they, they're used first. Is really useful as you can see ender arrows will teleport you to wherever you hit uh, that doesn't work luckily but <laughs> so you can see I'm getting teleported you can obviously go super far and uh, if a mob is hit with an arrow you will swap places as you can see I've swapped with the cow he's over there now now, the next part of the feature is the reinforced bow. This is a new bow that you can only find in dungeons, and it's basically a better version of the regular bow. It has more durability and does more damage. Wow, my aim sucks. Holy crap. The next little thing is, this is kind of not related, but the obsidian pressure plate. Only players can actually trigger this if I found a pig and I put him on... Wait, let me actually use this with chicken. Go over here. Oh, that's not the end arrow. <laughs> God damn it, I'm so stupid. But yeah, so the obsidian pressure plate can only be triggered by players. Now, the reason we have a pressure plate and a dispenser hit up here is because if I put a torch arrow in the dispenser, I can actually shoot a torch arrow. It's pretty awesome. You can also shoot ender arrows and the result is very interesting. Don't really know what the functionality point of that is. There isn't really one, but it's 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 pretty cool. Alright, so the next feature is a new ore. This ore can only be found below Y30 and is extremely rare. But it's definitely worth it because its ability allows you to repair any tools or armor. So basically, when you find this ore, you can mine it with an iron pickaxe as you can see here. And you'll get Calverlite dust. The ore is called Calverlite ore. And you can take that ore, and let me just give myself a little bit of XP. Okay, here we are. As you can see, 
You can repair the pickaxe now. It will cost 20 levels. So as you can see, but I have my fully repaired pickaxe now. And yeah, that's the Kevlar dust. It will also have a bunch of different recipes in the future, but I haven't added those yet, unfortunately. All right, the next feature is the barrel. Now the barrel is obtained with four iron ingots and four logs and a chest, as you can see here. As you can see, we have a barrel. This is not like the vanilla Minecraft barrel, because as you see, I'll put it down, and as you can see, I will right click with some ore, or sorry, not ore, cobblestone. And as you can see, it says 64 times cobblestone and my stack of cobble is gone. And now, if I want to take some out, I can just click and it'll take some out. As you can see, it's going down. We'll take a stack out, you can shift click. If you want to put all your items in, you can shift right click and it can store up to 4,096 cobble in one barrel, which is pretty awesome. All right, the next feature is a leather overhaul. So leather has been changed pretty significantly. The first thing to know is you can take a rotten flesh and you can put it in the smelter and it will turn into leather strips. Oh, and it happens. There we go. So leather strips are basically a new way to craft leather armor. So one leather strip is equal, sorry, four leather strips is equal to one piece of leather and you can recraft it. So that's how you can get rotten flesh to leather with using uh, leather strips. And sorry, you can use turn rotten flesh into leather strips and you can use those to turn it into leather and, you know, get leather that way. It's a nice way to get it as well. You can turn uh, leather strips into armor. So as you can see, we can make leather armor. But one of the great things about leather strips is they make leather armor repairable on the go. So even if you just have your leather armor and you have a bit of leather in your inventory, you can repair your entire set without even needing an anvil by just putting it in the crafting table and it will repair the item to full. All right, now we are in the nether to go over the last feature, and this is nether bones. So nether bones can be found on nether rock, and basically you can break them and get a bone. It has a 50% chance of happening, and they're just kind of here to, you know, make the nether feel a little more alive. And I'm going to be making my own nether update eventually, so, you know, it'll be awesome when that happens, but it's not done yet, so I'll probably give an update video when that does happen. But for now, nether bones. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg on the server and I promise I'll be making a lot more videos on it. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I really appreciate it. And I will be making a another video soon. And you can also check out my Twitter and my Twitch and my Discord in the description below and join them. I do tons of stuff there. I'm always active on all three of those platforms. And yeah, uh, I'll be definitely doing more content soon and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!